James Crazy. That's me! Hey everybody, welcome back to James Plays Little Hope. Uh, last time I thought we were going to go to the school, and we didn't. Instead, we got to, like, a general store, grocery store. Found some more secrets that I'm still not understanding how any of this matters to anything. Uh, some more attempts at trying to give me the spooks, but I'm still not feeling it. Now we're playing as Andrew again. We're back at the police station. Let's see what's going to happen here. What do you think? Let's take a look around. See what we can find. Glass half full, right? We'll be on our way from Little Hope while the others are still MIA in the woods. Are you looking forward to that? Something up. Yeah, there's something kind of familiar about this place. These small town police stations all look the same. Gonna find like a wanted poster with one of their faces on it. So we came in here in the little kitchen lounge area. Doesn't look like there's anything here. Okay. It's so hard to tell, like, what, what's a straight-up blockage that you can't walk past and, and what's not. And I keep getting hung up on things like this doorway and stuff. Let's examine the filing cabinet. And rat. No rat. That really? Really? Game? <laughs> really? That's that's what we're resorting to now. Okay, I'm I really am trying not to be too hard on this game. But I, I obviously am not able to take it too seriously. And I think you know that's to the detriment of this game. Uh, Man and Medan until dawn took them very seriously. But this one I'm just they haven't given me anything to, like, really latch onto. And then you're going to throw a rusted filing cabinet bottom falling out? Like, really? Come on, put a body in a locker. Or something. Reynolds. Camera angles are not doing me any favors either. I think this is an, a door out. So we'll wait on that. Oh, what are the odds of us going in here and the door shutting behind us? Nothing else that I can see there. Okay, let's check out this main area.
office. So we went into that side office. We'll go into this side office. Does appear to be anything on the desk it's outside. Okay. Many lives. Mare Carver. So the Carvers just had quite the influence over the town. A lot of powerful positions. And based on what I now know about witch trials, maybe they were able to build that power up over the a very long period of time. So, a uh, certificate of commendation for not for for not doing anything. That sounds about right for police officers. I guess you can't shoot a fire to death, right? Plant a gun on a fire? Fucking thing. I thought this was her way out. Hey, maybe it's wireless. Don't give up hope. Don't give up... Little hope. Yeah, see what I did there? There's another door. This is going to be the entrance. Maybe that the door at the lockers wasn't an exit because it didn't have the marker for it. Old witch gowl. Real nice. Oh, the old witch Gowl, she ain't what she used something. to be. Ain't what she used to be. I know it's jail. It's old-timey jail. I know. Don't. Pippy junk. Okay. T. C. You don't want to look at anything else in here? All right. Fine. TC, I'm thinking Tanya Clark because she had the moon thing and the boyfriend had the sun. Maybe that was also the carving on the tree that Daniel saw. Might it be something to do with that? Sure, ring a ding ding. Come on. We have a winner. Found a phone. This could be our way out. Mine's dead. <clears throat> Shit! Oh! Whoa! Hey! Take it easy. I'm thinking I know what's wrong. Please do share. 
there's no cable plugged in. Uh, there's got to be a cable here someplace. Okay. <sighs> Don't think we would have come across anything. Oh, I am going to go back to... Please don't do that to me, camera. I'm going to try to... What is that? What do you Please. think? Answer it. Yeah. I can do this. Be careful. It's Don't just a ghost phone. Concern. Come on. It. What's the phone gonna do to you? What can you hear? A woman. She sounds real upset. Talk to her. Try to get some details. Her location. Anything we can use to find her. Can I ask, what's your name? As I walked, a man and a woman appeared at my front. I had not seen them approach. I, I reached out in fear. I did not know them. Their clothes and manner of speaking were not familiar to me. They spoke of things that I could not make sense of. I swear I do not know where it came from or what this man wanted of me. Okay, it's all good. I'm going to help you out here if I can, but I, I need to know your name. It's Amy talking about her encounter with... There she is. Oh, there's Tanya Taylor. There's Daniel Dennis. Come here, girl. I would speak with you. Cannot talk of our secret. Eternal damnation awaits if you do. We have an understanding, do we not? No evil word shall leave my lips. Should you breathe a word, or the edge of a word about the other things, then I will come to you in the black of some terrible night and bring a reckoning that will shudder you. Now, Reverend, let us begin. Enough time has gone begging. Go be with your kin. I beseech this court, and good Judge Wyman, do not be fooled by the protestations of the accused. The devil is the master of deceit. All his servants are vain <laughs> What? They can do little else. I solemnly swear before God, I am innocent of all accusations against Hush me. Hush now, Amy. Did we just see somebody with no face? I mean no offense, Reverend Carver. I do not believe any of my neighbors. Those who know me best will speak out against me. They know who I am, that I side with the righteous. I will not be caught in the web of your deception. The devil hides himself where he is least expected. My wife is no devil's plaything, Reverend. I beg the court's forgiveness, but I stand by my statement. My wife Amy is innocent. I respectfully ask this good court to pay no mind to the words of a man whose very home is foul with the stench of brimstone. Uh, okay, hold on. We approach the man. What good is that going to do anybody? If just we show up out of nowhere, it's like, hey, 
How's it going, guy who kind of looks like this other guy? Uh, what are you doing, defending your wife against accusations of witchcraft? And here I am. Nobody can explain this, and I'm acting buddy-buddy with you. I... Am I right? I, I don't know. I'm gonna approach the others. I beg you, good judge. Let us conclude our business here without further ado. Lest we afford the forces of darkness the opportunity to bend these proceedings to their will. No! Mary? Mary, my sister, what ails you? Mm. What the? Stay out of this. What have you done to this child? You have bound an innocent girl into a pact with the devil himself. The poor creature seems possessed. No doubt you're doing. It's not true, Reverend. Why have you taken against me so? We will the see the truth of it. Her. Amy, lay your hands on Mary. Let us see what occurs. No if She's I am still. correct, your you touch will no release danger. her from this affliction. It must be so, if you are the one who bewitched her. Let's let's get in there. Let's cause some trouble. Leave her alone! Who speaks? Who's there? God preserve us. Please. The master cannot help you now. It's too late. They are here among us. They are here among us. No. What more proof is needed that the devil walks among us in little hole? <laughs> Take heed and pray. The devil is here in this very room. Protect yourselves. Seek out the Lord. She's got a little smirk on her face. Huh. So I'm, I'm making lots of good decisions here by the look of it. What the hell was that shit? Was that for real? Felt pretty damn real to me. Seriously? Didn't the witch trials happen centuries ago? Most of them over 300 years ago. Then how come we just saw one? Like I say, I have no good explanation. That little girl who had some kind of seizure. What do you think was going on there? I know that little girl. She's the one me and Angela saw back in the woods. Accusations were often malicious, made by someone with a grudge. Or by meddling liars, like that little girl, who took perverse pleasure in poisoning their own communities. <sighs> Come on. She's just some little kid. Who most likely doesn't get how big a deal the whole thing is. She knows exactly how serious it is. Either way, the woman on trial, Angela 2.0, she seemed like she saw us. And so did some of the others. Wouldn't she be Angela 1.0? A little kid just seeing us appear out of nowhere? Could easily believe that was witchcraft, especially back then. Dream up all the excuses you want for that little kid. I don't trust her one little bit. We can't explain how we happen to see each other. How do you expect some little girl from 300 years ago to wrap her head around it? The woman we just saw condemned? I saw her back at the intersection. I noticed something else weird. Her husband? He looked a lot like you, Professor. The two people with that little brat look just like Daniel and Taylor. What the hell does all this mean? So where's Andrew's double in all Who's of that? this? Hey, Professor! You in there? Come on, let's go. Okay, the spookiest thing has happened, everybody. Spookiest thing in this game. Hey, Taylor! Okay, Whew, we are back. We can't either. They must be locked. Let's all try to force the handle. 
In three, two, one. Wait, which side's pushing, which side's pulling? You need to communicate better, Professor. Taylor. Hey, Professor. Find anything that could get us out of here? Nothing that's gonna help us much. But I found this. It's kind of neat. That's the only it. thing that that I matters. I saw this exact keychain in my dream. That's pretty weird. It's more than weird. It's significant. I just. It's the don't it's know the how. key to everything. Wait 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 no, it's the keychain okay. to everything. Why the concern, John? <laughs> What's bugging you? Oh, me? I make myself laugh. We saw Angela's double get tried and condemned for being a witch. Okay, so now what? Uh, we've already tried a few places and come up with nothing. Except enough weird shit to put us in therapy for life. Forget about what's happened so far. Our best shot at finding help is in town. Really? Forget about what's happened? There's some real scary shit going down in the outskirts, and our plan is to stroll into the center of Weirdsville? Just a suggestion, but maybe we should figure out what the fuck is going on here first. We need to know what that woman is facing. What's going to happen to her next? I like the idea. But how would we even begin to find that out? Just let another ghost grab you? I've already been down those paths. Maybe the answer lies down the one path we haven't taken yet. What the hell? This is fucking crazy. We have no clue what we're getting ourselves into. We're getting ourselves, hopefully, into something scary. It's already been a hell of a night, but I'm sure we'll pull through. The geeky exterior is all play. There's a warrior in there. Okay, that's really stupid. I'm sorry, that just freaking makes no sense. We don't get to look at that map in closer detail, but it, it looked like it was excluding some of the things were, that were on the map that we saw first time around. Uh, Angela didn't get the memo about sticking together. Okay, now that we've got a moment here. The game crashing on me. It happened again and again and then I loaded up a a backup save I've been keeping backups of my saves thanks to a little handy dandy USB drive and that one crashed on me at an earlier point and then I uh, long story short this is now the next day I had to replay the game to get back to this point. Uh, so, yeah, that whole plan of only playing through the game just once before replaying it, it's not working out so good, is it? Uh, I think what happened is this game recently had another update. Um, yeah, this game's two years old. They're still updating it. Go figure. And my save, I initially started playing that. It was an earlier version of the game. And this patch might have changed things significantly enough that my save had problems being updated to the current version of the game. And like there were some sort of conflicts that just were not working out for whatever reason. I don't... I, I, I don't know for sure if that's what's going on, but I really, really hope that starting a fresh game, a fresh save on the current version of the game will prevent things like that from happening again. Because... I, I just... I don't need that. 
I know it... It's, uh... Supposed to be a given that if you do Let's Plays, you are going to run into technical difficulties, uh, your computer's going to explode, you're going to get hit by a car. Like, everything's out to get you. But I, I, I don't want that. I really don't. <sighs> that said, as you see, everything is marked as new because we haven't actually uh, looked at it. We'll take a look at the secrets here and just see what things there are to go back over. Here are the hippie artifacts. Moon marked with the initials TC. I my guess was it's something from Tanya. Tanya. Oh! What? That was not in in that commendation. I read that that was not there. That is huge news. I, I mean, I toyed with, like I said, like it says, like, many lives were lost. Not all lives were lost. But this is explicitly telling us that Anthony survived the fire. That is, that's, wow, okay. No updates there, just a familiar looking keychain that says number one dad. Protest signs. That that really This is freaking huge. I mean, I know rule of horror is, or rule of, like, media in general is, unless you see a body, nobody's actually dead. And we never did see Anthony's body. We just saw him run back into the fire. So, that... That is freaking... It's huge because it means something. Like, we haven't seen any, like, past versions or ghost selves of, of Anthony slash Andrew. And we've seen the, the, the past versions, the colonial versions of all the other characters. We've seen those monster ghost things where we've seen at least three. There is the one in the water. There's the the um the impaled one. And then there was the other one that looked like it was maybe like I this might be jumping to conclusions here, but that might be like a representation of hanging it looked like they were almost like like stretched out floating a little bit so if that's the case with that one that would coincide with Tanya dying by hanging and hold on Taylor has those marks on her neck Okay. Okay. Then we have the other one, the impaled thing, which uh, to me like coincides with Dennis. Uh, 
the drowned one doesn't coincide with anything. So maybe I'm barking up the wrong tree. Unless... It's... It's not as direct as that. The... The mother... The mother, like, suffocated from smoke inhalation. And she was going to be taking a bath. So, it's like lack of air. Could that... Uh, we'll see if I'm right on that. So then there's... Two others unaccounted for. There's John. And then there's... Uh... Megan. Yeah, that's the name. Sorry. Um, Megan burned to death and... Not John. James. Me. Was crushed under burning debris. We haven't seen anything like that, I don't think. What does that mean, though? I, I do not know. Why are there multiple versions of these characters... Still don't know. But the fact that we have a double for Anthony, and Anthony. Anthony did not die in that fire. I mean, he could have died later on. He could have, like, killed himself out of, you know, grief because he'd lost his entire frigging family. But still, that. I don't know. I feel like maybe we're actually something might actually be coming together here. Maybe. Gonna just recheck these. <sighs> this might sound like I. <sighs> Okay, I I had a thought earlier, and I didn't want to say anything because it, it to me it it really felt like I was jumping like real like really reaching. But as long as we're talking about things, as long as things are coming together, it's been a few episodes now. I think maybe it's okay for me to talk about this stuff, and hopefully you guys understand where I'm coming from on this, and I don't come off as a bad racist monster but Vince is black yeah you just I know take a moment to process that everybody but Tanya's boyfriend was black. And it feels deliberate to me. Because we, it, it explicitly showed us that, you know, we see this character. They have this character that we see, you know, dropping Tanya off at home. They didn't have to show us that. They have him at the funeral. They didn't have to show us that with his little sun medallion. And now we have Vince. Tanya's boyfriend, I don't think they gave us a name. But uh, let's say, you know, late teens, early 20s. 1972, and this is presumably in the 2000s, at least. 2010, maybe maybe 2020. That's 40, 50 years. Have a... Have a
you see where I'm going with this? We got we got an older black man here, and that feels deliberate. It just it feels like it stands out that these things as far as like storytelling, as far as the effort to develop the things and it's not like, oh, we need some diversity here. It's oh we need something that'll make this mean something. It's like it's like giving a character like a, a scar on their face. Except in this case, it's the other the it's making a person black, and I, I might be really, really off base, and I really kind of hope I'm not because it's really bad. I know for me to say, "Oh, you can't have two black people in a game." It's clearly got to be the same character, but the way that they've approached this, it feels so deliberate that it's meant to stand out. I. So I'm just, I'm putting it out there now, and I'm really, really, really sorry if I'm wrong. Uh, but uh, what what would that mean? An older version of, of Tanya's boyfriend here. And what exactly is here? What What is Little Hope at the moment? but I'm starting to feel like it might not be a purgatory type situation. Maybe, maybe, maybe I'm just reaching for something to start making sense here with this frigging game. But yeah, so I'm, I'm, we'll stop there and we'll do another episode where hopefully things won't crash and hopefully things will, you know, go somewhere with all this stuff and start putting some of these pieces together. So I'm going to take another look at all these bad boys, get those little new markers off of there, and I will see you next time. Love ya. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.